This company knew absolutely that they had a problem with the product. They knew that, that it was infected with AIDS. They dumped it because they wanted to turn this disaster into a profit. Do something for yourself. Join the Army Reserve. The Adelaide Casino. Somewhere over the rainbow is right here, and everybody's welcome to a piece of it. Find yourself in church this Sunday. Peter Popoff wants you to receive the miracle spring water to release prosperity in your life. The only question that matters is, are you hot? Nearly $33 trillion. That's what the U.S. national debt was as of early September 2023. Call me now. I'm waiting for you. Call 0055. It reckons there's about $270 billion worth of Australian home loans that are at risk of defaulting or being classified as severely stressed. More doctors smoke camels than any other cigarette. Ask the obliging Bank of America for a jar of soothing instant money. M-O-N-E-Y, in the form of a convenient personal loan. What can we do to protect ourselves from robot automation? And there are claims that America is sponsoring terror attacks in Iran. The allegations come from a militant group's leader who was captured in Iran on Tuesday. He says he met CIA agents in Pakistan who promised to supply arms to his organization. That's a claim that Washington denies.
You work away your life, and what does it get you? Smiles and faces? No. You get cash. Cash that can't buy back what the job takes. Not if you rode every seahorse in the world. Dad, why do I have to go to school? So you can get a job. But why do I need a job? So you can earn money. Continue ahead. But why do I need money? To buy the stuff the TV makes us want. But why do I need to buy stuff? Because if you didn't buy stuff, everyone would be out of a job and no one would have any money. Wait, so I have to work for the rest of my life to pay for stuff that I don't want just so everyone else can suffer the same horrible fate as me? Exactly. You just live your life without thinking, don't you?
Anything I can help you with? Yes, I'm looking for clothes so expensive only an idiot would buy them. Oh, there they are.
and I said, look, um, we'd like to ask you to work for us for 50 cents a year, and uh, if you would uh, uh, devote at least you know, 20 hours a week.
This land was purchased legally. You destroyed a natural habitat, drained its resources, then abandoned it to rot. There is nothing legal about that. You will never leave this basement. This will be your life. Until I have squeezed every last dollar out of you. You can't have capitalism without racism. Patriotism is a form of racism. And now, please stand for the Australian National Anthem. Old United States is really fucking great. Old United States is the best. Fucking place. Own it, Romney rules. I am glad he is president of the United States. It is the best fucking
nation without a vision of what the future can be is bound to repeat past errors over and over again. This brief video will outline a vision designed to avoid old mistakes. A vision of efficiency, sustainability, and intelligent planning can lead us into a marvelous new world of unlimited human potential. Designing the Future. This vision could be a showcase of what the world can be in our cybernated age. Science and technology could be used for human betterment and the restoration and protection of the environment serving as an example of the intelligent application of a systems approach. While some people advocate the restoration of existing worn out cities, these efforts fall short of the potentials of modern technology Repairing outmoded cities results in higher costs of operation and maintenance. It is actually less expensive in the long run to build newer cities from the ground up than to restore and maintain old ones. A total city system approach requires overall planning to attain a higher standard of living for all the city's occupants. The circular arrangement efficiently permits the most sophisticated use of available resources and construction techniques with a minimum expenditure of energy. This can make available to all people the most advanced amenities that modern science and technology can provide. It could be the hub and learning center where people from all over the world visit and hopefully emulate this design approach in other parts of the world. Design considerations for these new cities include its overall functioning, its ease of assembly, the reduction of maintenance, efficient transportation, and its simplicity and durability. This will include the flexibility to permit ongoing and later changes. The city would function as an evolving, integrated organism rather than a static structure. This system's approach envisions assembling entire cities by standardizing basic structural elements, which are prefabricated in automated plants and assembled on site. Many of these buildings would be comprised of standard units that can be arranged to meet many different requirements. This approach means that these cities can be extremely cost efficient because only one sector needs to be designed, which can be duplicated repeatedly for the completion of an entire city, as totally integrated city systems anywhere in the world. The outer perimeter will be part of the recreational area with golf courses, hiking and biking trails, and opportunities for water sports. Inside this area, a waterway surrounds an agricultural belt with indoor and outdoor agriculture. Continuing toward the city center, eight green sectors provide clean, renewable resources of energy using wind, solar, and heat concentrators. Waste recycling and other services are located beneath the city. The plan utilizes the best of clean technology in harmony with the surrounding environment. The residential district features beautiful landscaping with lakes and winding streams, a wide range of creative, innovative apartment buildings and individual unique homes will provide many options for the occupants. New and innovative methods of fast mass construction for housing and building systems will inject composite materials into a mold and then extrude the form upward. In some cases, multiple city apartments can be produced as continuous extrusions, which are then separated into individual units. Cranes transport these prefabricated dwellings to site locations. They are then lifted and inserted into a support structure. The apartments are lightweight and high strength. All of the dwellings are designed as self-contained residences. The outer surface of these efficient structures serve as photovoltaic generators, converting solar radiation directly into electricity for heating, cooling, and other needs. The thermocouple effect will also be used for generating electricity. 
The wide range of individual homes are prefabricated and relatively maintenance free, fire resistant and impervious to weather. With this type of construction, there be little or no damage from floods, earthquakes or hurricanes. Their thin shell construction can be mass produced efficiently and economically. New energy efficient systems can be installed to supply enough power to operate the entire household. Adjacent to the residential district are planning, science, and research centers. Eight domes surrounding the central dome house art, music, exhibition, entertainment, and conference centers. Lovely parks, lakes, streams, and waterfalls are located throughout the entire city. The central dome, or theme center, contains schools, healthcare, shopping, communications networking, and childcare. It is also the core for most transportation services, which move people by transveyors horizontally, vertically, and radially anywhere in the city. This minimizes the need for automobile transportation, except for emergency vehicles. Transportation between cities would be by monorail. The central dome will eventually house a cybernated complex, which serves as the brain and nervous system of the entire city. It projects a 3D virtual image of Earth using satellite communication systems, which display information on weather, agriculture, transportation, and the operation of the whole city. This cybernated system will use environmental sensors to help maintain a balanced load economy which avoids overruns and shortages. For example, in the agricultural belt, electronic probes monitor and maintain the soil conditions, water table, nutrients, and more. This method of electronic feedback can be applied to the entire city complex. With computers now able to process trillions of bits of information per second, they are vital for arriving at correct decisions for the management of these innovative cities. The architectural structures themselves will be jewels of future possibilities with a wide variety of exhibition buildings. Many of the displays will depict not what the future will be, but what it can be. Some of the cities may be total enclosure systems, which are self-sufficient. These massive structures would contain residences, parks, recreation, entertainment, healthcare, educational facilities, and more. Everything built in these cities would be as near to a self-contained system as conditions allow. In these total enclosure arrangements, the skyscraper assures that more land is available for parks and wilderness preserves, while at the same time eliminating urban sprawl. Wherever possible, geothermal energy can be harnessed. Geothermal power offers the possibility of an abundant source of clean energy. This source alone could provide enough energy for the next thousand years. National transportation systems would include a network of waterways and canals. These bodies of water could minimize the threat of floods and droughts by diverting floodwaters to storage basins. In addition, these canals could supply water for irrigation, fish farms, and recreation. The canals can also be used for desalinization using a method of evaporative condensation. In some instances, ships could serve as floating automated plants capable of processing raw materials into finished products while en route to their destinations. Huge ships and submarines with many removable and interchangeable compartments will carry freight across the oceans rather than separate containers an entire freight section can be automatically disengaged at the port. Bridge designs would be greatly simplified and bridges can be made corrosion resistant. They would be prefabricated and transported to the site by twin-hulled catamarans. On some bridges, trains could be suspended beneath traffic lanes. Colonization of the oceans is one of the last frontiers remaining on Earth. Prodigious oceanic city communities 
will evolve as artificial islands, floating structures, undersea observatories, and more. These large marine structures are designed to explore the relatively untapped riches of the oceans and provide improved mariculture, freshwater production, energy, and mining. This could offset land-based shortages. They could also provide almost unlimited riches in pharmaceuticals, chemicals, fertilizers, minerals, oil, and natural gas. Ocean cities would be resistant to earthquakes and greatly relieve land-based population pressures. The population would vary from several hundred to many thousand. Underwater oceanic viewing and research facilities provide expansive panoramic observations of the undersea world in its natural habitat without disturbing the ocean environment. Unsinkable floating sea domes will attract those who prefer unique offshore or island living. In the event of inclement weather, they could easily be towed ashore, mounted, and anchored to elevated support structures. Mariculture and sea farming systems are used to cultivate and raise fish and other forms of marine life to help meet nutritional needs. These marine enclosures are designed as non-contaminating integral parts of the ocean environment. If we use science and technology with human and environmental concerns, it could be a vivid future showcase of the human potential when working together to preserve the greatest gift we have, the resources and beauty of our planet Earth. In the final analysis, we are one people and share one planet. If you desire more information on any of the systems seen in this video, visit our website at www.thevenusproject.com. Oh
seems to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I'm only a child, yet I know we are all in this together and should act as one single world towards one single goal. We have heard the rationales offered by the superpowers. We know who speaks for the nations. But who speaks for the human species? Who speaks for Earth? I am talking about the resource-based economy. The scientific method for social equality Where our technology allows for life in global abundance And the choice between contender and incumbent is redundant Welcome to this pale blue dot in our galaxy Where we fear the finality of our own mortality And we worry about our salary and consumption of calories While famine and war have caused another fatality We live in a finite world, but our need for growth is infinite Our relationship with money is so damn intimate We can't slow down, we want more, oh we're so into it Intimate? It would be a sin to quit So now the whole planet's in debt We owe quite a tall stack But it's literally impossible to pay it all back Because money is debt created with interest Do you listen? actually more money owed than exists in the whole system. That's a pyramid scheme. Not just mean individuals skimming the cream. Not just smoke-filled rooms with the supremely powerful convene. It seems a systemic flaw is the theme to this meme. Today's system defines who wins and loses with competitions And losers are created by definition Our leaders are ruled by political ambition Not a single one of them is a trained technician It would be insane to listen to their claims I'd rather use the scientific method to arrive at decisions So pardon my sedition, but I stand by my division And I fight against this system with a thought for ammunition It's a train of thought, it's a frame of sorts A campaign where you can't just feign support The train of thought can't be claimed or bought it's an idea, there's no one you can blame in court. It's a train of thought, it's not a game or sport. It pertains to humane and sustained support. Like a chain is wrought, it can be trained from taught to anyone with a brain. Let me explain in short. I'm talking about the resource based economy, the scientific method for social equality. No political borders, no one giving you order. It's the wealth we're giving to our sons and daughters. I'm talking about the resource based economy, the scientific method for social equality. We can only try to fit the mold So instead of growth and jobs, let's set ourselves a new goal A bold, high standard of living for the planet as a whole In a sustainable way for every human soul, young and old Let go of your borders, time to think worldwide No more democracy and politics, all that's been tried Instead, we use the scientific method as a guide To arrive at decisions on how technology is applied And if we want to provide, we can't take a resource and abuse it We need to keep track of what we have and how fast we use it System theory tells us everything in nature is connected When we cut down to many trees the ecosystem is affected So in production it makes sense to build everything to last Planned obsolescence should be a thing of the past And if we design fast evolving technologies to be modular We can replace old parts with a new and more popular To distribute our goods the shortest distance is preferred To transfer from there what we can make here is absurd Then we evaluate demand for goods and build hubs to receive them Like a library where you check things out for as long as you need them All of this is doable with today's technology As long as we apply the right methodology Cause scarcity is technically outdated, you follow me? This way we can live in abundance and global equality. I'm talking about the resource-based economy, the scientific method for social equality, where technology allows a life in global abundance, and the choice between contender and incumbent is redundant. I'm talking about the resource-based economy, the scientific method for social equality, every time the transition is about damn time, the planet is shared by all. Incentive is the key to understanding volition We don't act without it, it's behind any decision There's no human nature to behavior, just predisposition It has to be supported by the surrounding conditions So the mission is one we should all agree to pick No police, no prisons, no referee to trick Build a system with no incentive for harmful behavior Cause if you remove the carrot, you don't need the stick There would be nothing to gain from trying to mislead Mistreat or deceive, no incentive to thieve What could you hope to achieve? Anything you need, you can get for free and it would always be available, so no reason for greed. 10% of the population makes the system run, so instead of working 9 to 5, live your life for fun. Travel the world, raise a family, read a book, build something beautifully useful, or learn to cook. Is this just
generation's defining challenge Extraordinaire It's not complicated, just a comprehensive affair For some it's a big mouthful For others a breath of fresh air Don't be scared, cause it can be done Don't despair Educate yourself on how the current system's impaired But please do more than just make other people aware When it comes down to it, we have two things to declare One, we all care And two, we all share That train of thought It's a frame of sorts A campaign where you can't just fame support The train of thought can be claimed aboard It's an idea There's no one you can blame in court It's a train of thought It's not a game of sport It pertains to humane and sustained support Like a chain is wrought It can't be trained and taught To anyone with a brain Let me explain in short I'm talking about the resource-based economy Scientific method for social equality No political borders No one giving you orders It's a wealth worth giving to our sons and daughters I'm talking about the resource-based economy Scientific method for social equality Take care of the planet and meet everybody's need Make the world get free Just live and let me I'm talking about the resource-based economy Scientific method for social equality Glad technology allows a lot of global abundance And the choice between contender and incompetent is redundant You see, the real value of a conflict, the true value, is in the debt that it creates. You control the debt, you control everything. You find this upsetting, yes? But this is the very essence of the banking industry. To make us all, whether we be nations or individuals, slaves to debt. You can't call me money, but you can't escape from me I take race hatefully, enslave and make it fuck for me And luckily, the species ain't seen my diseases I'm plugging the streets with bodies that keep slacking me You casually spin me as I deprive freedom and lives As I push your future aside, you're divided, can't ask why Your progress is nonsense, it's swamped with obsolescence in seconds I take your best shit and wreck it While you stress and caress me, I poison your cities Left you degraded and clueless, disgracefully stupid Neurologically damaged, empathically savage with habits as hazardous as Halliburton's habit You can't avoid my madness as I ravage the planet For useless consumerism I'm abusing your system of associative thought patterns To eradicate plates of earth Before you vacate the space for permanent work We are the money, copyrights, and surrender to resources Your cultural and spiritual distinctiveness will be consumerized Into our own existence is female You will be consumerized
the money, copyright, sincerity, your resources, your cultural and spiritual distinctiveness will be consumerized into our own resistance is female. You will be consumerized. Sasha, and I'd like to tell you about my home, Prison Earth. Prison Earth is a fairly large place. It has hundreds of different prison cells and billions of prisoners. Some of the prison cells are pretty large, some are much smaller. Some are fairly nice, others are horrible. I was born in jail cell R, which isn't the worst cell in the prison, but many would argue that it's not the best one either. Back in the 90s, when I was growing up, Cell R was actually considered to be a pretty dangerous place. Because of that, my father worked hard to move my family and me to cell U, which was considered to be a much better cell at the time. But it wasn't easy to make the move from cell R to cell U, or to go anywhere, in fact. You can't just move freely from one prison cell to another. All prison cells have very strict rules about who can enter and exit each cell and for how long. The walls between each prison cell are strictly patrolled by guards, and it's almost impossible to leave your own cell without granted permission. To be granted permission to leave your cell, you first need to get a small booklet that has your details written on it. It has your name, your date of birth, your inmate number, where you were born, and some other information. Most prisoners can leave their cells by showing this booklet to the guards, but some cannot. For most prisoners, getting out of their own jail cell is the easy part, though. The hard part is entering into a new cell. You see, there is no free or common area in the prison. The entire prison is strictly divided into jail cells, and each cell has its own rules that you have to follow. The booklet that I told you about dictates which cells you can enter and for how long. Since some jail cells are better than others, this means that some prisoners are more privileged than others. In some jail cells, people slave for livable wages and have access to health care and education. In other cells, a lot of people suffer. They slave in awful conditions and barely earn enough to eat. If you're born in a good jail cell, like the ones in Area E or Area A, you might be quite lucky. Not only because you'll have access to health care and some good services, but also because you can leave your jail cell and temporarily enter many other cells just by showing your booklet to the guards. But if you're born in one of the bad prison cells, you're quite unlucky because it will be very difficult for you to leave or to improve that cell. Most likely, you'll be very poor and the prison guards won't let you into the good cells without additional special permission. To get additional special permission, it can be very difficult. Not only do you need to show the guards your booklet, but you also need to show them a special stamp called a visa that you can only get from the authorities. To get this stamp, you either have to have a lot of money or you have to sign into a contract to be a devoted slave for a company in the good jail cell. But that will only happen if you're very skilled. Sometimes you can also perform a ritual called marriage with someone from that jail cell. Once you have the documents and the stamp, the guards can still refuse you entry into their cell if they feel like it. And if you're poor, there's a good chance that you'll get denied. The funny part is that most prisoners don't even realize that they're locked up. Most prisoners don't even try to go into a neighboring cell for longer than they're allowed to. Most don't question the guards or the other prisoners. They just do what they've always done. They work, work, work. They slave their lives away in their designated jail cells and they only take vacations when they're allowed, only for as long as they're allowed. They might be numb to this prison, they might be quietly existing, working in the system, perhaps drinking, smoking, or taking pills to cope with the lack of meaning in their imprisoned existence. 
But I hope you're not like that. I hope you question and take a step outside, at least with your own mind. I am Zeitgeist.